okay guys today we're going to learn how to set up automatically gpg signing our git commits i will be using manjaro you're free to use any operating system the commands will work the same in any linux operating system or in git bash from there uh, about mac you can like I'll give you the link to the actual github page that uh, shows you how to set everything up and you can go from there it is almost the same everywhere because git almost everywhere runs in a unix like bash and that takes care of everything so let's begin so first of all let me show you the difference between uh, uh, a verified commit and a non-verified commit in this um, repository this is a verified commit which uh, has been signed with a verified signature using github's own key however all of this repository's other commits have not been signed by anyone's key which means that if this guy had edited this on github this would have been like signed by github's key so he can track that yeah this file was edited by him on his github <coughs> login let me show you how like your repository should look for example let's just take this one of many repositories this commit was signed with a verified signature belonging to Ravish Agarwal GPG key ID and that is how almost all of my commits have been signed definitely after I learned about this signing thing so without wasting any further time let's uh, show you how to set this up <coughs> I just installed this uh, Manjaro installation so everything should work just fine let's clear the terminal first uh, gpg small k lists all your private keys and public keys and capital k lists all your secret keys for this we need to generate first of all a new public private key pair so let's just type gpg h to see a list of like commands that are available it's for help as you guessed my gpg version is 2.2.8 which is the latest since i'm running manjaro you might be running an earlier version of gpg so the options available to you depending upon whether you're running git bash or a linux terminal depending upon the version of gpg these might change what won't change this so we want to generate a key right so generate a new key pair but there's also one another option for Linux users full featured key pair generation full featured refers to it will ask ask everything of you and this is what we're going to run right now and uh, let's do it GPG full generate key and we have this <coughs> selection what kind of a key you want so I want a RSA key RSA keys may be between 1024 and 4096 bytes um, it 
basically is uh, like uh, the bigger the key the harder it is to guess the key so you would want the largest key 4096 bits long RSA keys may be okay requested key size please specify how long the key should be valid if you are like if you have signed a document with your key for how long should the key be valid mm, let's do with zero key does not expire at all if you had better uh, like if I had better knowledge of what GPG was and how to sign and eventually I will have I'll choose another option but default is what I will pick right now mm -hmm. yes key is valid for yes GNU PG needs to construct a new user ID to identify your key my real name is my email address is any comment since I'm going to delete this key later so I will uh, add an additional comment Manharo Tummy Key I have selected this user ID like this is how the user ID shows everywhere you load or put your key at so change name comment email or ok so o for ok now it will ask me for a passphrase I'll just so as you can see what happens right now um this is a really interesting thing i think someday i'll look deeper into this and know what this is about it generates random bytes depending upon what's on your ram and whether like if you move your mouse or type on the keyboard the random entropy number generator gains enough entropy to generate a uh, 4096 bit key <coughs> like I have had instances when uh, this used to happen that there wasn't enough activity on the system to be able to generate a random 4096 bit key so that was something really amazing that yeah, we have to do some activity to for the key to uh, be able to generate it's an interesting thing go read up on it somewhere if you want um, this key has been marked as ultimately trusted revocation certification has been stored at public and secret key created and signed with the revocation certificate this is the key ID and that's all we know however if you let's move forward we have another command to put which is gpg list keys small k will do uh, we have the key ID so this is the name of the key this is where uh, this is the key ring in which the key is stored so now how do we tell git that yeah this is the key and you have to sign everything with this key well I don't remember all the steps right now 
should remember all the steps so let's this is the actual guide um, no not actually uh, whenever you go to some verified commit you can simply click over here and learn about signing commits this is the actual step-by-step -step process that we did uh, I knew we didn't have any existing keys we generated a new pair and now we are going to add this to our github account how do we do that well you'll have to first copy the new gpg key it should be something like this and you have to copy this part and gpg armor export armor makes it into ascii so what we will do is we will use this is a fingerprint that we need <coughs> and this is the public key so we can copy this over here and go to our github account go to settings SSH GPG keys um, add a new GPG key and paste everything from end PGP public key block to begin public PGP key block this is your public PGP click key and as soon as you press the add GPG key GitHub will ask for your password and I'll just change the screens for a moment and enter the password and everything and as you can see this has been added added on 8th of July 2018 um, the time seems a bit off but we'll take care of that later hmm. <coughs> so what next okay so we have told github that if in my git account uh, like in my git workflow I sign a commit with this key you, you'll tell uh, people that it's a verified key that I have verified it but how do I tell my local git installation that uh, this is the key and sign everything with this key no matter what I say like each and every commit should be signed for that uh, we have another guide signing commits using GPG telling it about your GPG key mm. that's all so uh, let's first tell it about our GPG key so we have this git config global user dot signing key is the configuration that we have to edit uh, in the git configuration so this is not the signing key that we need the signing key that we need is this one we press enter and uh, uh, let's just show you where this appears okay nano dot git config user signing key this is the file where it appears in the home fi folder there's a dot git config file in which the 
configuration up here so user block me uh, signing key variable will be set to the key print <coughs> that said uh, we have to sign commits using GPG so we'll have to add one more global configuration and this does it um okay so I forgot to copy the git as you can see another user block has been created and signing key commit block has been created and gpg sign has been set to true so all commands are just uh, changing a com configuration file somewhere in the operating system okay so actually we are done so let's just check this out okay like uh, I'll also teach you how to make a new repository press the new repository button uh, get testing description testing get stuff it's public don't initialize with a readme yet and uh, you'll be able to copy this because we are pushing an existing repository from the command line at this point uh, we're going to go to our terminal and make a new folder actually mm. you can make this folder anywhere I am making this folder in the home directory so that I can simply delete it after this video as you can see we have this uh, git testing directory um, so let's just change directories into it So we are into the git testing directory and we have to write the git init command. We have written the git init command and an empty git repository has been initialized in home ravish git testing dot git. We'll copy the first line paste it press enter and the origin will be added so now <coughs> whenever we say push it will push to this URL which is this repository and just suppose I I want to make an MD file over here like a markdown file a simple markdown file that says that yay I completed the I made my first repository and I'm testing it so let's just write it down like nano readme dot md Let's uh, save it. Yes, and uh, let's uh, commit it. Like get, like let's do a git status, and we can see that readme.md is not being tracked. 
so we will do is get add star now running get status will say that readme.md is a new file that is being tracked now since we've staged it now we can simply commit with a message you need to have at least one commit to be able to push to the remote repository which is why we are actually committing like we did this readme thing initializing the repo with a readme good as you can see I have not even initialized my git over here because it's a fresh install so git config global user dot email Okay, since uh, uh, let's show you what this did configuring git files. We're moving out of the git testing directory and my name got added here, my email got added here. That's all. Um, let's continue. We're back into the git testing directory. Now we can run this commit message. We'll have to use the passphrase for signing it. As you saw, we have our key, and for signing this commit, the password uh, like the when I'm signing it it's asking for my password so only I know the password so only I can sign this commit so it's a hundred percent surety that no one else can push to my repo on my name if they will push to my repo I'll know that it wasn't me who pushed it so one commit has been signed and committed now let's get push origin master so when you say git push git push origin master so we configured origin at this point uh, where we added this origin so what we're doing is we're taking the master branch of our local git repository and pushing it to the origin now it will ask for your github username and password which is and I'm not going to tell you this and done so when you come to chrome refresh this look what happens I created my first repo and now I am testing it but that was not what we're here for like uh, this is two minutes of thing this is verified with my own GPG key which I generated right now so we're done